Good evening, uh, YouTubers and YouTube family. Um, today I am going to make chicken and rice. It's a lazy man's chicken and rice that you make in the oven. Um, I got this um, actual recipe from uh, the Myers Effect, which is a YouTube channel. Um, and I will put their name in the description. I haven't yet uh, found out how to put the links in. So as soon as I find out how to put links in, I'll do that as well. But right now, um, I did want to give them a shout out, Myers Effect, because because of them, I'm making this dinner tonight. And um, what it consists of is obviously some rice. And my rice is already um, cleaned and um you know ready to go also most important part the chicken chicken's all clean ready to go you're gonna need some chicken broth which i have right here low sodium and my seasonings which i'll be using um my garlic powder and onion powder um this one is just this here um this seasoning i'm sorry um it is a mix it has all kinds of different seasonings in it so um we'll be using that and we will also more than likely not for sure but be using some cream of chicken soup so um right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that I'm putting the rice in the pot. So bear with me because I'm only using one hand to do all this right now so I can show you guys. So just bear with me, please. All right. So you just take the, the rice. And just pour it on down. I used about four cups um, for a family of one, two, three, four. There's five of us right now. So that's what I used, about four cups, which is plenty of rice. Uh, just trying to get the rest of the rice out of the bowl because there's still quite a bit in there. Got to get what's on the edges, you know, no waste. Got to use everything. Um, now, when the Maya effect did the um, chicken and rice, you know, they did their own little thing. Um, their way of doing it was a little different, you know. Um, but it doesn't, oh, goodness. But it doesn't really matter because as long as it's all together, that's all that counts. And that's what I'm doing right now. Like I said, I'm getting the rest of the rice in and that part is done. I forgot to grab my spoon before I started this. So let me grab a spoon here. Um, Cause I want to mix this up. Like I said, bear with me. I'm using only one hand, but okay. Here is just the rice. And I'm just gonna have it go all over. And now, I, I mean, that's not even necessary for what I just did only for the simple fact that I'm getting ready to pour chicken broth in it. So it's going to end up moving around wherever it wants to go now. So, but that's going to be my next step. We're going to go ahead and add the chicken broth. Sorry guys, I found something in my rice. I just wanted to get it out, but okay. Now we're going to go ahead and you definitely want to make sure that you have enough juice that will cover um, all the rice. And then of course the chicken as well. So here's the broth going in. I'm so glad that I bought two of them. I just knew I was gonna need two. As you can see, it did cover my rice, but once I put the chicken in there, yeah, that's probably not going to be covered well. So now I'm going to go ahead and start with the seasonings. And 
Give me one second. I got to open this one up. It's brand new. I just bought it. Oh, I already did that. Okay, cool. Seasoning. You're going to season it the way you want to season it. You want to season to taste, obviously, you know, but I don't have any measurements of how I do it. I just season the best that I can. I'm trying not to shake the camera, but because I'm shaking to, to get the seasoning in, my camera's shaking, so I apologize for that. But, yeah, I want to put it all, you know, in here on the, in the juice, I should say, in the rice to make sure that it gets that flavoring in there good. And then once I put the chicken in, I'll go ahead and add a little bit more seasoning. Um, I know a lot of people use salt and pepper. Well, as far as the salt and pepper goes, I, I'll use pepper, but I don't use very much salt because of this one season seasoning. It does have salt in it, but um, I also have somebody in the family that doesn't need more salt. They have high blood pressure. So this is now my onion powder that I'm adding. And just like I said, whatever you think your family is going to like as far as seasonings and how much you put in. Because you can add whatever you want. Like on the Myers effect, she used some lemon pepper as well. I'm not using lemon pepper. I believe that's what one of the seasonings she used. And this is the garlic that I'm putting in now. So just want to get that in there. Now what I'm going to do is just mix it up. Mix it up real well. I mean, this is really, really a simple dish. I mean, as you could see, all I did was clean my rice, put the broth in, the rice in, the broth in, and seasoned it. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken. So let's grab the chicken. And you can watch me put the chicken in. Got some terrible views in there. I mean, you know, the way you're, you guys are seeing me. But I'm not meaning to do that. It's just very difficult working with one hand. So here's the chicken. Just put all the chicken in. And um, I have quite a bit of chicken here. I think I have 12 pieces. Um, but that's because, like I said, I have five people in the house. So, and my one son, he is 6'6", six, six, so he's a very big boy, um, and he can shuffle down some food, <laughs> but I love him to death. All my babies I love. So now what I'm going to do, I'm rinsing my hand right now because I don't want to touch, you know, anything with all that chicken that I just had in my hand. But I'm going to go ahead and now season the chicken. And then we're going to cover that up as well, like I said. So, just get this chicken seasoned well. Are we going to cook chicken? Yes, we're cooking chicken today, sweetheart. That's my grandson over there again. I don't know if you got him, got to see him, but yeah, he's over there playing with his cars. He always does that when I'm cooking. He'll always be in the kitchen just watching me. Um, I shouldn't even say watching me because he doesn't really watch me. He's more into his uh, cars and stuff. But he, um, when he sees that I have the video camera on, things like that, he right away, you know, listens to everything I'm saying and start asking me questions and things like that. So, he's a, he's a very nibby little boy, I always tell him. He, he's, uh, he has to know everybody's business, but that's okay. He's my baby. <laughs> so, like I said, we're just seasoning up all of this. And that's that for the, the seasoning. I mean, I don't know if I should. I think I am. I'm going to flip them over and um, season the other side and hopefully 
I didn't over season, you know, but I don't think so. You know, you want the flavor to be everywhere, you know. Um, try to keep the rice, like I said, inside of the, uh, in, inside the pan, below the chicken. Um, again, when Maya's affected it, they did it uh, where she had the chicken already in there and then she added the rice but it eventually got to the bottom so it worked out but um yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and finish doing this and when I'm done I'll show you what it looks like before I put it in the oven all right okay I'm back uh, finished seasoning the chicken and everything and just scared the crap out of myself I don't know if you can tell in the uh, video or not but I'm standing here and I started to look into the camera before I hit the play button and I seen my shadow back there and I thought it was another person for a minute but it's just my shadow but anyway but um the recipe also called for some butter in it so I probably used about a half a stick of butter maybe a little bit more but I'll show you I just put it all around in different areas of the chicken and rice so now I'm gonna go ahead and add my next thing of uh, chicken broth the next box of chicken broth so that my chicken is covered as well like it says all right now when Maya's affected hers um, she put it and that's what I have it at is my oven is set at 350 um, I didn't end up using the whole box I probably used like three quarters of it but it's ready to go in the oven so I'm just pretty much waiting for my oven to finish preheating um, once that is done she put it in for 20 minutes but then had to take it out and um, check to see if the rice was done and it wasn't quite done so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in and I'm gonna put it in for 30 minutes and hopefully um, that'll be long enough and everything will be done but um, if not and, and if it needs more liquid I could just add more um, one other thing I was gonna say is with this if you wanted to I'm sure you can add cheese to this um, and I think Velveeta would work the best and you can also add broccoli which I might do I'm not real sure yet but I think I might go ahead and add broccoli but like I said no guarantee right now it looks good the way it is so um, hopefully it comes out as good as it looks so I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to put it in the oven and when it is done I'll show you what it looks like thanks be back uh, real quick I just wanted to mention before I go and put it in the oven was that um, as you noticed if you haven't I'm using one of those big aluminum pans um, I think a great tip is to make sure you use a cookie sheet underneath it because sometimes these things can get very flimsy and also you want to cover it with aluminum foil um, I to me that'll you know keep the steam in help the rice to cook better um, so like I said I was gonna put it in I am putting it in at 350 and I said I was gonna put it in for 30 minutes I'm gonna probably put it in for 30 minutes check it at 20 just to be on the safe side I don't want anything to burn so um, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and do that now, and I will be back.